Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel and especially huge welcome if you're new. I post yoga videos here on YouTube about twice a week, all different styles of yoga. And if you're yoga curious or just wanna feel a bit better in your body, I would love it if you would subscribe. The class we're doing today is a travel yoga class. So this is fantastic to do if you're about to get on a 10 hour flight like I'm about to, or great to do when you land from that flight. Wonderful class to counteract jet lag and fatigue. It's also just a great class if you wanna relax, get grounded. I am around five months pregnant if that's helpful to know. And it's just going to calm and ground your energy. To begin, come on into all fours. So stack shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, just take the hips in some circles. So these can be little baby circles or really big circles, depending what feels good for you. you. Just want to sort of lubricate the hip joint, whether you're getting on a plane or just got off a plane. Sitting, we will have been sitting or will be sitting for a very long time. So just bringing some circulation to this area, really, really beneficial. And then I just want you to slowly find stillness at center. Imagine you had a tail just like a dog and then just take your tail all the way to the left. So we're just wagging our tail to the left. It's okay if the left seat sort of hits the ground. Maybe you'll feel a little bit of a IT band stretch here. Good, and then take the hips all the way over to the right. We'll get more into the hips in a minute. This is just a, just a warm up. Hmm. As you're here, just begin to relax and deepen the breath. Inviting in a three count inhale and three count exhale. We're just doing anything you can to slow the breath down. We'll come into some spinal movement here. So we'll just inhale, coming into an arched position for your cow pose. Send the collarbones back, heart forward, and exhale, rounding into your cat back shape. So tailbone really lengthens to the space between the heels. Let the chin drop into the body. Just three more like this. Waking up all the erector spinae muscles that live along the length of your spine that usually get pretty locked up and traumatized. Anytime we're sitting or traveling for long periods of time. And deep in your breathing. Slow the breath down. See if you can find an inhale and exhale in and out through the nose, making them equal in length. Gently calm to all fours. You can take the knees a little bit wider apart. Reach the right arm up to the sky. And exhale, thread the right shoulder underneath the left. So you're just coming into a twist. Left palm presses outside the left temple. Really press, press, press with that left hand to spin your chest deeper towards the sidewall. As you do that, magnetize your inner thighs towards one another, lengthen the tailbone back. So you're finding some stability in the pelvis. We're aiming to feel the twist right in our mid-back thoracic spine. Inhale for three. Exhale three. Inhale three. Exhale three. One more big breath. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Really work your twist. Good, and then Gently come back to center. Do some more of those hip circles. Maybe reversing direction. Just trying to loosen anything up that might have gotten locked or jammed. So you're ready, find stillness at center. Reach the left arm up to the sky. Thread it underneath the right for thread the needle twist, second side. 
So right hand outside, right temple, right elbow points straight up towards the ceiling, really pressure down into all parts of that right palm to spin your chest towards the right side wall. Counteracting that, press your shins and tops of the feet into the floor. Narrow your inner thighs towards one another and lengthen your tailbone back in space. You don't want to feel any strain on the back of the neck here, so I like to actually dip my chin, make sure the neck is long and neutral. Three deep breaths here. Gently come back up to center as you're ready. Inhale into that cow position, so opening the chest, shoulder heads back. And this time, curl the toes under. Press back into your version of a downward facing dog. So you can keep the knees deeply bent. You can spread the hands as far apart as you need to. Pedal through the legs. And down dog, we're just getting the heart above the head. So this is a mild inversion. We won't be here too, too long. Just want to feel a stretch in the backs of the legs, expansiveness and rooting through the palms. And you can always take the hands farther apart from one another or take the feet as wide as your mat. So just experiment here. You're just looking for a feel good stretch. We'll be here for three deep breaths in and out. call to mind a cat-like animal, panther, jaguar, just kind of pounce, ready to pounce and maybe prepping by bending the knees and just moving in a way that feels organic. From here, take the right leg high to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips, make some circles with that right knee. So you take the right knee to graze the left best you can. It's like your knee had a paintbrush attached to it. You're just gonna make huge circles on the sidewall and the floor. And you can reverse the circles. If this doesn't feel good, just stay in regular down dog. Again, we're just trying to lubricate that hip joint a bit more and feel a nice stretch in the back of the left leg. Reach the right leg high, and then exhale, step it through for your pigeon pose. So you can always take pigeon on your back if that's not, uh, if that's preferable to you. Otherwise, I love taking pigeon before and after flights. It just feels so good on the hips. So don't make it your deepest pigeon ever. We just want to, again, bring back sensation and ease up all the so many muscles almost a dozen that are involved in hip flexion and extension inhale reach the heart up exhale fold so just giving these muscles surrounding the hip joint some gentle gentle love again don't make this your deepest pigeon we're not that warm we're just allowing our breath to melt this area so take a huge, deep inhale. Huge, deep exhale. Deep, deep inhale, filling up the belly, the chest, feeling the collarbones lift, and then exhale, surrendering to the floor. Close your eyes now, and I want you to visualize a balloon in your right hip. And on that in-breath, inhale, fill that balloon as much as you can with your breath, with your energy, with your attention. 
And as you exhale, just surrender completely. Let the hips get heavy and drop down. Every inhale, just think of filling that balloon with breath. Exhaling completely. Two more on your own. Really send your breath into the area of the right hip. Just try to visualize it. See it expand and blow up. Your exhales are an opportunity to really land wherever you are right now. Last deep breath. Curl the back toes under. Take the hands one by one underneath the shoulders. Press yourself back into a downward facing dog. Mm, pedal the legs. If you feel like flowing through a vinyasa, if you have a seasoned yoga practice, please feel free to rock forward to plank and, and do that. Otherwise, just stay in dog. Just keep stretching the back of the legs. Together, we'll reach the left leg up and back. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Big stretch for the back of the right seam of the leg and now circles with that left knee, taking the left knee out wide. It's a little bit like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. So you're finding that really right angle shape. If there was a paintbrush on the left knee, it's like you're painting huge circles on the wall. Last breath. Good, reverse the circles if you haven't already. Nice, and then sliding forward into your pigeon second side. So don't come down right away. Just give yourself a moment to sort of use your proprioception to figure out where you want to be. We want the hips square best as possible. So maybe drag the left hip back a touch, right hip forward a touch. Maybe roll open the chest. Take a huge breath in, drink in your inhale. Oh, and then exhale, just land. Come on down. If you've just arrived after your travels, just really give yourself the, the time, the space, a moment to arrive. Our physical body can move on planes and go all sorts of places so quickly. The energetic body takes a little bit more time Deepen the breath, slowing down the breath. Let any tension drip away from the shoulders, face, or jaw. Move the tongue from side to side. Let it rest in the back part of the mouth. Visualize that balloon now in the left hip. As you breathe in, inflate that balloon with breath, sending breath and space into the left hip. Even if it feels silly, just visualize it. And exhale completely, surrender to gravity, arriving fully 
in the here and now. A few more times, visualizing expanding that left hip like a balloon, so sending your breath down there. Exhaling fully. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Last breath here. Different on this side, just press yourself up. You're going to, however you can, just bring that back leg forward. So we're coming to sit with both legs extended long. If you need to sit up on some cushions or pillows in order to uh, be comfortable here, please do pad, pad yourself, pad your seat. And then draw the right knee into the chest, take the right ankle over the left knee, left leg is flexed, press that right big toe mound into the ground, inhale, get tall, and exhale, coming into a twist. You can reach the right arm up, take it behind you, left elbow can hug the right knee in, Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist. A few more times on your own, letting the in-breath create length in the spine. The exhale, the abdominals draw back. Taking you deeper into this rotation. From here, maybe make some movements with the head and neck. So you could gently bow the chin into the chest, slightly round the upper back. It always feels really good for me. And then lengthen through the crown of the head once again. So we inhale, maybe chin tilts up, get a little taller, work the twist. Exhale, dip the chin into the chest, allow the upper back to round while in this rotation. Just giving those erector spinae muscles along the spine an extra little stretch. Good, and then you can come back to center. Counter twist the other way if that feels nice for you. Take the right sole of foot into the left inner thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold over the left leg. Try not to get caught up in having to reach the foot or having to feel a really big hamstring stretch. This pose is actually really fascinating because it provides us with a low back stretch, a stretch on the right side seam of the body, as well as the hamstring stretch, depending sort of how we choose to move into it and what we choose to focus on. So the more you sort of spiral yourself to the left, the more you'll feel that stretch on the side body, potentially, and the low back. So staying a little more upright here to feel that can be good. Grounding both sits bones into the mat. And of course, if you really want to go for holding the foot and feeling the hamstring stretch, that's fine too. But just be mindful. Try to let go of what you think the pose should look like and just see what feels good on your left leg and your low back, especially the right side of the low back can always invite in some like intuitive movement, maybe reaching the right arm up and down. Good 
two more deep breaths. And gently press yourself back up. Take the right knee up. And then just holding the right knee, this is kind of fun, just let yourself lie down, pull the right knee into the chest, and then take it across the body for a twist. And reach the left arm towards the upper left corner of the room. Let yourself settle here. Final huge deep breath. Pull the right knee into the chest, coming back to center. And then coming to sit up, you can either use core strength or the elbows just glide up and we'll switch sides. So left knee in, get tall, take the left ankle over the right knee. You can hug the knee with the crook of that right arm, lift the left hand up and exhale, coming into your twist. Both sitting bones root evenly on the ground. Grow away from those sit bones through the crown of the head. Inhale, get long. Exhale from your abdominal muscles, twist. Right leg is active. Right toes are flexed back towards your face. And keep pressing that left big toe mound into the mat as well. So you have a lot of stability here. Every inhale, get a little taller. Every exhale, twist deeper. And if you want, you can play like we did on the other side. So inhale, just lift the chin. And exhale, dip the chin into the chest, rounding the thoracic spine. So lower back stays nice and long. We're just maybe inviting in a little stretch to those mid vertebra. Inhale. Exhale, rounding just the upper back. Last breath. Good, gently come back to center. Counter twist to the other side if that feels good. Nice. And then just take the left Sole of foot to the inner right thigh. Flex the right leg, toes point, uh, flex back towards the face. Inhale, get tall, get long. Exhale, fold. Again, let go of trying to touch the foot. It's not our aim here. Our aim is really just to increase circulation in parts of the body that may have become stagnant from our travels. So I like to take the right hand to the outside of my right thigh. Pressure into the right hand, maybe get a little bit of a twist going. So it's like you're twisting very gently to the right. And using my inhale to lengthen the spine, using my exhale to fold forward. Making this a little bit more of a stretch for the left side seam of the body and left low back rather than just a strict hamstring stretch. Invite in intuitive movement here so you can kind of rock the torso to the left and right. You can lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. There's really no right or wrong once we start doing these exploratory movements. Three more breaths here. Last 
last deep breath. Pull the left knee in, back up to center. Draw it into the chest and just let yourself melt down to the floor. Pull the left knee down towards the left shoulder. Big squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then exhale, take the left knee across the body to the right for a big twist. Left arm reaches towards the upper right corner of the room. Notice if you're clenching in your pelvis or groin or seat or low back. Just let everything go. Just enjoy the sensation of the twist, breathing into this shape fully, three breaths. Pull the left knee back into the chest. Again, using core strength or your elbows. Come back up. Last pose, we're going to take legs up the wall. If you don't have a wall you can use, you just can take your legs over a chair. So you just put a chair. So the seat of the chair was right here. You could just put your shins over a chair or your shins over the bed. If you're in a hotel room, for example, could just put the shins over the bed or prop yourself up with pillows. Hopefully you can find a wall. You could also do it on the bed with your feet up the headboard. So lots of options. If you scooch your seat right up to the wall or right up to the headboard and take your legs up in a 90 degree angle, it's going to be more intense. And if you've been on a super, super long international flight, it might be too intense and you might get pins and needles in your feet right away. So back your seat up from the wall to make it a little bit less, more like a 45 degree angle with the legs. Having the angle be a lot more intense really isn't more beneficial. All we care about is that our feet are above our heart, above our head, above our pelvis. So if you can get into any position where that's true, you're doing it right. From here, all you have to do is receive the benefits of this posture. This pose is helping, aiding venous blood return back to the heart. This is so essential if we've been traveling as the blood tends to pool in our ankles and lower legs and lower extremities. So we're just using gravity to gently recalibrate our whole system. You can take the arms in a cactus or goalpost shape alongside the shoulders. You can take them palms face up alongside the body, pointing fingertips pointing towards the wall or chair, or you can take left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Just to fully deepen our breathing and commit to being wherever we are right now, wherever we've landed, We'll take a brief pranayama exercise to close. Very simple breathing exercise. So just inhale, filling up for three. Exhaling for three. And now inhale into the belly a third of the way and pause. Inhale into your ribs a third of the way and pause. Inhale into your chest and collarbones a third of the way, pause. And now exhale all the air out of the body, nose or mouth. So inhale just into the belly, feel the belly lift towards the sky, pause. Inhale just now into the ribs, ribs expand left to right along the mat, pause. Inhale into the chest, the collarbones. Some of us only breathe in this area, so fill this up. And then exhale all the way. Let that go. Rest. 
Continue a few more times on your own. So you're just breathing in in three equal sections. So inhaling a third of the way, like you're filling a glass, a third of the way to belly, pause. Inhale two thirds of the way into your ribs, pause. Inhale fully filling the glass all the way into the collarbones, chest, pause. Exhale as you need to all the way. Just follow this pattern three or four times on your own. When you're ready, you can let go of the breathing technique. Just staying in legs up the wall for as long as you possibly can. If and when you do choose to move to go about your travels and your day, I want you to gently pull one knee into the chest and then the other. Curl onto a ball, curl into a ball on your left or right side and very, very gently press yourself up, taking a lot of care when you transition out of this position, not jumping up quickly, but really keeping the eyes closed and letting the head be the last thing to come up. Stay here for as long as you can. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Enjoy your travel.